Oh, wow. Can you fight the fire now? Here, more turns. There you go. Woo! Woo! Good job. Turn off the fire on you. Yeah. Oh, you got it. There you go. All Good right. Good job. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a go. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what this is? It's a pump to fight the fire. So typically, we're probably going to have it stored in here, correct? Right. So if you get, obviously, a warning on your phone or some kind of a heads up, you think, okay, fire's going on here. We might have to get an evacuation get notice. Might as well get ready to wet down the property. Uh, the odds of you staying and fighting is probably not the greatest one. But to, hey, to take that extra hour or two or, or whatnot to go ahead and squirt everything down and then go while everybody's getting ready, that's kind of a good deal, too. Now... If you have somebody, a neighbor's going to hang, having this there, you never know the situation. So when you hear that, you'll have it stored in here, and you'll go ahead and grab the hoses uh, that we have out front and then the fire pump. Yep. Cool. So the goal is, is to um, lay out your uh, hoses and get everything ready and not be too in a rush, too much of a panic, although the craziness is going on. Right to go ahead and just follow the steps, right? And the first step is gonna be put it on your manifold. Okay. And this is gonna allow you to fight the fire in the front yard and the backyard. Okay. And see how I have the tee up a little notch? Yeah. On an angle? You're gonna get this tight, and then kind of go down with it so you know it's really good. Okay. And just a little nudge like that is in great shape. And then this is your uh, valve that you can uh, turn on both hoses or one hose at a time. Okay. Right now they'll both be open, but we'll go ahead and close one. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the suction line going. So what we do here with the suction line is we wanna make sure this goes in the deep end. So you take suction line, put it in, bring it on down. Now it's never gonna fill up the hose, but you just wanna kinda of bring it to the spot. You just put it in here and just get it as tight as you can get it with your hands. And now we're gonna go ahead and we can prime the pump. With water hose? Yeah, with the water hose. So with the water hose, you go ahead and prime the pump. And you can kind of hear it, but a lot of chaos going on. It's, you know, that's all you need to do. Got it. And you got to make sure you put your cap back on. So a lot of these things you're just going to kind of have, and you'll watch the video, and you'll kind of say, okay, I'm going to do it this way and that way. There's not a scenario where you really have to follow the particular order, but this is typically a good way to go. So now we're going to go ahead and lay out the fire hose. Okay. So on these hoses, when you roll them up, once we use them, I'll show you how you roll them up. Okay. But this is kind of how they go together. You just double it up, and then you start on the end and just kind of roll it up. Okay. But when you do that, you take that extra time doing so, you really take the benefit of rolling it out really easy, you know? So when you roll out the hose, that's all you really need to do. And then you can go ahead and connect your hose. Now everything has gaskets, so everything just needs to be a, a, good, a good tight, you know, good twist where you can see where it connected the gasket and you gave it a little something. Okay. You don't need to totally wrench it on. As long as it connects, you won't even have a leak. It'll be working great. So now on the other end, you want to go ahead and put a nozzle on. So now this is on, and you can see on here where it says open to the left, close to the right. So you have it closed, but then you just kind of crack it just a hair, just so a little air can come out when you fire it up, um, is what I recommend. So now we have the suction line in. We have our return line with the fire hose. Now we're going to fire it up. Okay. Okay. So when you're going to start this motor, it's been sitting, and it allows you to go ahead and use the choke. Okay. Because it hasn't been started in a couple days or quite some time. And then when you fire it up, it's going to have like a generator sound noise to it. So make sure we're all ready for that. Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. So um, you always check to make sure you have gas in it. So I just put gas inside there, of the bottle that I showed you. Okay. Uh, so there's gas inside. Oil's in there. So what we're going to do is we're always going to turn it on. See right here? That's always going to be your first step is just to turn it on. Okay. Then when you turn it on there, you're going to come over here, and you're going to make sure your gas is on. So this is off. The gas is going to go on. Got it. Right? And this is your choke, and we're going to open the choke. Got it. And then on the throttle, this is the other one, very important. See up here, you really got to kind of bend down and see, is we have the throttle here. And we're going to put that right in the center. Okay. So now you're good to go to fire it up. So now we kind of set up the gas is on, chokes on, the throttle's in the center. We have gas in it. We know we have oil in it. Um, so now you're bringing it out because there's a, a fire warning and you want to drench your property or you're just out here testing it. 
giving it a go and make sure everything runs well and, and the hoses are all good and, and everything. So now I'm gonna turn it on. It's gonna fire up, it's gonna get loud, okay? So then I'm gonna come over here. Once it's on, the water, this hose is gonna prime up. And it's gonna kinda spread out and kinda take its space. And so when I go ahead, I'm just gonna grab the hose and then uh, we're gonna squirt it right here into the pool. And that way we don't get everything drenched with chlorine water and, and the house and all that. So that's the direction we're gonna go. So now we have everything set up. So now we can go ahead and pull the rip cord to fire it up. Okay. And I'm gonna do it once, and then uh, when we're done, we'll turn it off, and then you can fire it once. And that way, you're all good with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on, and then once it starts running, then we're gonna go ahead, okay, it started. Now we're gonna, go, first thing we're gonna do is turn the choke off. So we're gonna take this lever here, this gray one, yeah. and, and take it to the off position. That way it can run. Okay. And if you don't do that, it'll never kind of go. It'll just putter putter and never take off, in a sense, in the right. RPMs. Right. So that's very important. Then the next thing we're gonna do is gonna be, when we do the choke, it's gonna be running, idling for a second. It's gonna allow you to take a deep breath, it's idling. We're good, and then you can go ahead and then turn up the RPMs, right. which is that metal uh, rod right here that you're just gonna go ahead and give it some RPM so you can really start squirting some water, right? So that's gonna be the main thing you're gonna wanna do is to be, turn it on, turn the choke off, take a beat. So okay, I'm ready. That hose is gonna start squirting water because I opened it up a little bit, right? So that's not going to be a surprise. And then now we're going to go ahead and, and fire it up and, and turn it on. But if you see a lot of water coming out of there because you might have, excuse me, too wide, then you want to go ahead while it's idling, go ahead and adjust your nozzle so you don't kick it on live. And then all of a sudden the hose is going bananas. Right. Okay, so now we're going to fire it up. So I'm going to take the rip cord, get the tension out. And you can see how it's kind of stuttering. Choked off now. You can kind of totally hear it, right? And now you can see if it's gonna uh, catch prime. You can see, the, see how the water, the hose changed? That's good, that's okay. So see how the, the hose changed now? It's still idling. We haven't changed the RPMs or done anything weird, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna say, okay, uh, no big leaks. I took a beat. I feel confident now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the RPMs and handle my show and wet things down, right? So I'm going to turn up the RPM. And now we've done that. We're going to come over here. And you can feel this hose. A little something to it. Oh, wow. And why don't you come over here and feel it. So I'm going to turn this off. You grab that and turn it to the left. Yep. You can turn it all the way wide, go all the way wide. Keep turning that, yeah? You can do that, if something's coming right at you, you turn that thing wide, right? Yeah. And then you go, go ahead, on. okay, boom. So in emergency, you open that wide, you thought the, the uh, amber's coming towards you, I right? like it, okay. And now, go ahead and walk over here. Feel the hose? Yeah. Yeah. So now you've got plenty of room to walk over there and handle your backyard. And as you can go ahead and go up to the bushes up there, go ahead and change that nozzle. There you go. You can change that nozzle a little bit for a little wider. It's gonna open it up more. Give it more water. There you go. There you go. Son, want to try it? Come on, come over here and turn it off. Come over here in the grass so it turn it off so he can turn it back on. Go the other way. Turn it to the left. Huh? To the left. Left. Can you fight the fire now? Roof. Yeah, 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 easy. Yeah, that'll easily get up to your roof. You want to try it too? Okay, come here. Come here, turn the, turn the handle this way. Good. Oh, turn it, turn it, yeah, bigger, more turns. There you go. Woo! Woo! Woo good good job. Job. Turn off Woo! the fire on you. Yeah. Oh, you got it. There you go. All good right. job. Good job. Want to try it one more time? No, I'm good. All right. Thank you. You're this welcome. is awesome. Now what we're going to do...
Idle. Let it idle first. We just want to just turn it off. Unless it's a fire, I'm out of here. Just cut it off. Hit that switch and you're out, right? But if you're testing and you're checking things out, let it chill for a minute before you just kill it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So turn it off. Just so it can all kind of wind down a little bit, lose a couple degrees. The oil can kind of do its thing. Yeah. So it's just smart to do that. Now, we don't see any leaks, right? Nope. Right, so that's the goal that we want to achieve. Now, if it's dripping a little bit, it's not the end of the world. But when you're testing it, and you see a leak over here on this particular uh, valve, then we take it apart when we're done, put some new plumbing tape on, and, and just notice that spot. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And I'm going to have you start at once. Okay. Okay. And now it's already fired up. So we don't need the choke. So we don't need the choke. That's absolutely correct. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Pleasure. Um, All right. So what we want to do is you, you turn that on. The choke's off. The gas is still on, right? Yeah. So the idea is, is go ahead and pull the cord. Yeah. And you're good. Yeah. Go ahead and turn it up. The RPM. Yep. Now turn it back down. The idle. All right. Go a little slower next. Now turn that gas off. Okay. Now we turn the gas off. Now we're just gonna walk away. And let it burn. Let it burn out, because that's gonna clear out the carburetor, the jets, right. and all that. That way, when you put it away, it's dry. good to go. It's dry. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna test it every year or so, or six months, or in the summertime. Heck, you can pull it out. The kids can play. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can use the thing, right? Um, obviously this is hot. This is no joke here. It burned the kids like that. Yep. So obviously playing with it is also parental guidance, you know, but definitely fun to play with. Um, and it's made to be used, made to pump water. It wants to be used. So don't be afraid to, again, play with it in the summertime or whatever you want to do. Perfect. Okay. So now that's going to peter out. It takes about three minutes. Then it just goes, pep -pep -pep, right? And gets out of gas. This is great. So, so far you kind of got it and confident, more confident. Not that you weren't, but now that you've done it, there is no question, no, right? No, it's easy. Yeah. Now, when we have that 150 foot, that goes right here. And we just kind of roll it out. Yeah. Then you take the next hose, you go over here, roll it out again. Right? So you're going to roll out three. Right. Roll out, grab it where it stops, and then take the next one, roll it out, and then connect it, and then go to the next one. Right? So you'll do that. You know, three times you're going to connect that hose, so you're in the driveway handling your business in the front. Right. So your son can do the front, you can do the back, or whatever. Or if you're the only guy here, then you just do the valve. Yeah. Right? And there's also, you know, a sprinkler system you can get, and it's not going to do nothing like the hose, but... I have those, actually. You do? Yeah. yeah. And probably 30 more seconds or a minute, that should peter out. It's yeah. off, right? Yeah, it's off. Down here, the, the gas one. That's it's off, right? Yeah. Oh, here it comes. There we go. Perfect. Now, we're in good shape. Turn that off. Perfect. And now, we can go ahead. Open it up. Open it up and take it away. When you're done with this, completely done, we'll disconnect this and then we'll flush it out with the hose. Okay. And get this chlorine and acid water out of the pump. Now, take it off the fire nozzle. Allows you to make sure the gaskets inside are stay, stay well. Okay. And that's the whole idea is getting the pressure off. Uh, put them in a little baggie, a little Vaseline or something on them. No, but the point of all that is, is you wait two years, and all of a sudden the darn thing's cracked. It's like, oh man, why didn't I take a look at that? You know what I mean? Yeah. So now I'm going to disconnect the suction line. Now I don't put this on nice, strong, hand tight, right? Right. So it didn't leak. As long as you close that gasket, you're in good shape. Then we'll go ahead and get this out. Now, likewise on here, you notice how we had a little angle tightening up just a smidge, right? Same thing here. You can kind of go this way, and then it kind of loosens it up. Okay. As you probably, probably could figure, right? Just kind of helps you. Give me one second. And then you have that gasket here that I also have some wrap that I put over the top, right? Just so it doesn't fall out or whatnot either. Um, so typically I have that wrap. Remember that wrap I have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool. Or just throw a baggie over the top when you store it. Then it's never going to go anywhere. You're never going to go, uh, you know, where the heck that go? Let's go ahead and undo that drain plug on top. Yes, sir. So you see the drain plug in the very front? Go ahead and look in the front on the very bottom. So that's the drain plug we want to undo. Oh, this? Yes, sir. To, uh, so there's two of them. There's the one on top, and then when you're going to flush it out, it'd be the one on the bottom. Got it. 
There you go. Yeah. And then you can go ahead and then you flush it out. Watch your shoes. So we're flushing it out here. You can go on the front. And that's good. Perfect. All right. All right. Good job. So now we're going to roll up this hose so it's you can roll it out nice and sweet. You know, you just kind of go. So you, you saw I did a little 50-50 here. And sometimes you might need somebody to help you if you get a struggle with it. But you just start a nice tight deal. So two big is always easier that you keep it tight and right here while I roll it up. Okay. A single deal kind of makes it more challenging. But if you have somebody giving you a hand, you can get a nice roll going on. Any questions you're having or you're feeling like, I got this? I got this, man. This is cool. All right. And then typically take it once this cools down, because um, it's pretty hot right now, you can kind of wipe it off and take the spots off it. It comes right off if you kind of stay on top of that from squirting around, you know? Yeah. Because that's just the, the chlorine in the water and salt. Oil's fine, but when you're going to come out, have a level deal. and you, over, you check the oil over here. The manuals are in there, so... You can take a peek at that. This has a two-year warranty, so any problems in two years, it doesn't fire up. You say, hey, Michael, things aren't happy, and we'll just get you a brand new one. That's okay. what I paid for already to uh, protect the, the pump for you. Perfect. Um, everything else, I think you got it cleared out. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Yeah, great. You. Share uh, the knowledge great, with your neighbors, great huh? Great service. Thank you. Cool, cool. Anything else, guys? In good shape, huh? Good. Thanks, man. I Thank appreciate you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate I'll it. definitely let all my friends know in the neighborhood. Please, please. And I'll go ahead and uh, give them the same service. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Oops. you.